Hey everybody, before we get started, I just remind you this episode is brought to you by our patrons like Adam the Harp, Onika Comics, Onika Zume, Architect Hand Black is the G, Carlos, Dragon, Ferris, Jimmy Vasquez, Jonathan Sandoval, Legendary Boss Hunter, Liam Kessler, Reach Up Raptor, Rogue Robin, Shravor, Shiny P, Slung Guy Nibbub, Seven Twenty Three, and Varian the Crow. If you like what we do and want to see us do more, consider supporting us on Patreon and get access to this early unless it really helps out. Thank you for your support, everybody. Alright. This bit should be short, but there's only one pack opening today, and it's Shadow Spectres. So we're going to run through it really quick. There's no bonus packs, no other supplements. We're doing one thing. And, uh, yeah, this is the last pack of uh, 2013, so we will move on to some new stuff. Uh, you can see immediately Shadow Specters is when Ghost Tricks are introduced. If you want to know more about Ghost Tricks, check out our Fail Portrayal on the subject. Fail Portrayal double feature. We will hunt for those in case, but I am not a big fan of the Ghost Trick playstyle in progression terms. So we'll have to see what happens there. I'm sure we can trade some of that stuff. Uh, however, you do see a couple of funny things right at the top. First of all, Labradorite Dragon. That is a very important super rare we are going to be hunting for. That is very important to us for a lot of dragon decks we're working on. This is a normal dragon and a tuner. So uh, that really enables certain interesting plays with some of our decks. In addition to being yet another level 6 dragon, we can bring out for stuff. So yeah, keep that one in mind. Uh, that'll actually be useful for certain things. You're hunting for that one. Uh, and this card's not really talked about, but I think in a limited format is very important. This is Chow Chow Chan. This is a common. Uh, and it says when your opponent activates a normal trap card in response to your monster's attack declaration, targeting an opponent's monster, you can discard this card and negate that activation and destroy. This is a quick effect. So if your opponent tries to flip Mirror Force or Depriz, assuming Depriz is still legal by the time we actually play this, remember, we record some of these bits out of sequence. We haven't actually played... Uh, week 47 yet. This is for me recording week 48 before 47 is locked in. So, But assuming Depris lives, and also knowing that Depris will probably eventually either go to one or come back, but, and I believe Sakuretsu, if we replace it, is a thermal trap as well. Um, Negate attack is a counter trap, so that doesn't bother that. But this basically will be an interesting tech card we may or may not see in some side decks or some main decks if you're playing a beast deck that lets you get out of battle traps. These Malivorous guys, who I don't know if are very interesting, but they exist. They're fiends. Some are battling boxers. The weird secret sect stuff. These are a couple of big ones. This is for uh, for dragon ruler type stuff and also some other things. Mythic tree dragon. Um, they're also very important for level 8 stuff, which we may actually be making some level 8 dragon stuff with some of the components here. These are both commons. Mythic tree can target a water dragon and make its level the same. That's very important for uh, title, perhaps. And uh, if you control an earth monster, you can special mythic water dragon once per turn as a level 8. So both of these are pretty important for some stuff. You've also got some other end here. I don't think arm protection dragon or soldering dragon are very good, but they exist. There's some raccoon stuff. There's our ghost tricks. Lantern Spectre, Witch, Yukiona, Jiangxi, Stein. There's some more Bujin stuff that I don't know anything about. Uh, there's a couple more Mecha Phantom Beasts, Saberhawk, and... Uh, Cal Griffin. I honestly don't think Saberhawk's super good, but it might work as an offensive wall. Cal Griffin is actually, uh, decent. Because that's a native level 7, and it lets you do some interesting things. Also, we get new vampires in here. Shadow Vampire, Vampire Sorcerer, Vampire Grace, the Vampire Field Spell. Uh, some other support stuff. Pump Princess, Vampire Hunter is in this set as a counter. Some more Spirits. Uh, more Lady Princesses. Our first Mega Monarch is Grand Mark. Of course it is. Uh, some more random support stuff. Then we get our Xyz. So we've got Dark Storm. There's a dark thing here. Uh, this is the Chaos version of Dark Mist. So it has some interesting effects. If you have Rank Up Magics, so there's Gin Buster, which is for darks. There's Overfiend for darks. Uh, we've got Battle Boxer Cheat Commissioner. Uh, Dragulon is another one we're going to be looking for. This is level 8 dragons, and it's only good in dragon decks. Uh, number 64, Ronin Raccoon. Ghost Trick Alucard, another Bujin, another Vampire one. Uh, vampire Bram, Crimson Knight, that's important. Melee of the Trees is good for thing. And Divine uh, Dragon Knight Felgrind is a secret rare, but if we get that, that's very important for 8s. A couple of new Synchros in here that are rare. We want these. Uh, Paralysis, the Pyrotile, is a Reptile Sync Tuner. Uh, and it has attack loss effect, so if you ever want to bring Reptilians back, that's probably pretty important to cram in there. And uh, Gigantic Castle is, I think, uh, one of our first ever, if not the first, straight up uh, generic 9 2-mat. Uh, if you can make 2-mat synchro, you can make this thing. And it gains uh, 200 attack and defense reach, non-tuner, 
synchro material monster used to synchro summon this card. So uh, usually it's over 3k. Or it would be definitely over 3k for sure. Uh, there's more, you know, stuff. Ghost trick spells, vampires, pot of dichotomy is a secret rare. Uh, I don't think dichotomy was ever popular because it's got to be at the start of your main phase one and it doesn't, this is your battle phase. Return of the Monarch is an ultra. Dust on map. Numbers overlay boost. Some more spells and traps I don't know much about. Uh, mistake is pretty funny, but that's a secret rare. Uh, I got some more stuff down here. Lady of the Lake, Noble Knight Boars, Ignoble Knights. Noble Knight stuff all is parcel out here at the high rarity. Got some other stuff. Blue Sirius is pretty interesting. Uh, you're the Star Bearer, Dragard. Ah, here we go. Here's the other stuff I want to mention. We've got Secret Sanctuary, which is interesting. Um, but at the common slot, we have your boy, Wyver Buster and Collapse Serpent, who are this early. Yeah, they're limited, obviously, but that is also going to greatly uh, influence Chaos Dragon shenanigans. And may actually cause us to bring that deck back with even more stuff. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that's uh, Shadow Specters. Uh, we're really after the Dragon support in here, but we'll take some of the other generic stuff. And we'll see what happens. So let's go open 24 packs. Open Shadow Specters. Looking for dragons. I hope you enjoyed my Hello, Ghost Rare. I'm going to tell you, I hope you enjoyed my song. I hope you enjoyed my fucking Ghost Rare, dude. It's Divine Dragon Knight Felgrand. I guess the secret rare normally. And we got a rare number. Vampire Duke. Got a Mythic Tree Dragon, though. The eye naturally gravitates to the rares. Which we go. Ooh, two of those, though. Uh, got a lot of ghost tricks in here. Not sure if we're playing those, but we got them. Uh, okay. Uh, another Bujingi Regalia Rege and more ghost tricks. Not the best, but we started with a ghost rare. They can't all be winners. Uh, vampire Takeover. Not sure I'm into vampires, but I could play them. Uh, takeover is pretty important. Got the kingdom, I mean, for that, and grace. We got a Wyver Buster, though, and a Mythic Tree. And a number, boy. Hey, Pyrotile, that's a card we are looking for. Not much too new in the commons, though. Ooh, Ghost Trick Alucard. And we got an Archfiend Giant. Not really sure if that guy's any good. More Vampire Graces, though. Another Pyrotile. Another Wyver Burster. Well, if somebody gets two Collapse Strip, we can trade. Hey, Spellcasters, that matters for some stuff. More Mythic Tree. I'm not seeing any water dragons so far. Uh, nope, don't see it. I was skimming the comments first. We got a King Over Fiend, the Chaos guy. We have the means to make that. And we got a Dark Storm. People will want that, I guess. But we're not really seeing the stuff we want. There's one of the things we want, though. There's the Giant Castle. Gigant... Yeah, Gigantic Castle. Gigantic Castle. Probably Gigantic Castle. Uh, our time is not what we're looking for. Not the common slot stuff. Mmm, Cal Griffin. Oh, and there is a Wyver Burster. Again. Need that Collapse Serpent. Not seeing him. More Bujin stuff that I don't need. Swords of Dawn. That's for equip stuff. Don't know if that's any good to me. Uh, another Jin Buster, but we did get the Labradorite Dragon. This is a weird one. Uh, another Gigantic Castle, maybe? Also, can I get a frickin' Collapse Serpent? Mythic Tree? Or a Mythic Water Dragon, perhaps? Hmm? Can I get some commons? Hmm? Nope. Nothing I wanted in that. Oh, Vampire Hunter's funny. Uh, I mean, I got some Vampire shit, but I'm not getting the best Vampire shit. Another fucking Wyver Burster. Where's Collapse Serpent? Another goddamn Wyver Burster. Thank God I and I and another tree dragon. What the fuck? Pack opener. At least I got another gigantic castle. I got two of those now. Uh, don't even know what that rare is. This is god damn it. I hate that the pack opener hates my guts like this. Is that an Archfiend Giant? It was. God damn it. Okay. Hold on. We gotta look. I mean we got the ghost rare and we got some of the stuff we can trade, but like goddamn. I hate to be shafted on fucking commons. There's the Wyver Burster number one. Uh, 
There's Tree Dragon. I don't know if that, there's, yeah, there's like two of them. There's the Cow Griffin. There's the other white, there's another Wyvern Bruster. God fucking damn it. Ah, no Water Dragon, no fucking Collapse Serpent. Okay, well, hopefully those are commons and we aren't fucked by that. We only need one copy. We have extras to spread around of our commons if the other people get fucked, but that's gonna be tough to trade for. Uh, we got two Pirate Tile, we got two Gigants, we got some uh, rares and supers we can trade for shit that matters. We got the Ghost Rare, and we actually can play Divine Dragon Knight, Felgrand. And we got the Labradorite we wanted. So that was basically about as good as we could do other than the common shenanigans. Hopefully we can trade for that with no problems. And if we want to take a look at vampires, we can? I don't think we will, though. Like, we didn't get the Xyz payoff, but maybe people will be interested in that. And as usual, we got a lot of Bujin crap. Nah, nope. We got a lot of Bujin crap that literally nobody understands if it is good for or what it does. Like, I don't... This is the problem with this era of Yu-Gi-Oh. There are so many archetypes that a lot of us don't fucking know about and don't care about. So that's all dead cards to me because I don't think I'm going to learn how to play Bujin because I didn't get, like, any of the Xyz payoff or anything. So I I don't want to make that deck. But I don't know if people who want to make that deck will know to, what cards to look for. But, yeah, there it is. That's Shadow Specters. That's about as good as we can do. We got some good shit. And we got some fucking horse shit. But, you know, here we are. I guess I'll throw something together. Okay, doing this for reals. Sorry, I had to do some adjustments to the deck. I forgot what we were doing exactly. Had to take out some banned cards, do my ratios. So, this is Mecha Phantom Beasts because we are going into week... Should be week 48 Shadow Specters. And I didn't really know what to do, so I decided to bust out an old chestnut to keep been getting support. So, this is Mecha Phantom Beasts. Uh, I am... Recording this segment the week of Thanksgiving. This is the week we're actually taking off. We are not recording the episode this week, but I want to do my deck profile just to keep everything together, you know. I won't be opening the next pack, though, because we haven't even worked with that last pack, and I don't want to get even more confused by stuff and things. But here we are. Mecha Phantom Beasts. This is an archetype based around tokens and level modulation. Uh, almost all of them have the effect to have their levels increased by the number of levels on tokens. Yeah, the levels of all tokens you control. And all of them, I think, have the effect that they are not destroyed by battle or card effects while you control a token. So, it's a pretty interesting archetype. It involves a lot of tokening. And I, I personally like it a lot, so we're gonna see if we can go anywhere with this. You know? So, let's just do the card by card, I guess? Yeah. So, uh, we have at the top, Cal Griffin. This just came out. You can tribute two Mecha Phantom Beast monsters. That would include tokens to special summon this. While well, you control a token, can't be destroyed. Discard a Mecha Phantom Beast, special summon a token. And he's just a seven native. I kind of wish I had two, but it was a rare and I only got one of. And I don't... I don't got any shit from Shadow Specters left to trade, I don't think. We can work on more if people got them. Uh, because obviously this deck is in a little bit of adjustment. Uh... O-Lion, I think, comes out next week. I'll be very excited for that one. We have two copies of Saberhawk. Saberhawk is a 2100 attacker. It has a couple restrictions. It can't ever attack directly, and if you have a monster giver that's not a Mecha Phantom Beast, it can't attack. But it can't be destroyed, and you contribute a token to target a card. You need to play his graveyard and banish it. So, uh, ideally, we don't have to bother with DD Crow. We could just play Saberhawk to do this stuff. And it should act as at least an offensive wall, if not actually beating over our opponent's minor monsters. You know. And it's a good, decent normal summon. One copy of Mega Raptor. Mega Raptor's a 1900 attacker, which doesn't have those restrictions. And then, when a token is special summoned, you special summon an additional token. You can only use this once per turn. And then, you can tribute a token to search at a Mega Phantom Beast monster from your deck to your hand. So it's very important, but it was very high rarity, so we don't get a lot of them. We do have three copies of Haralard. This uh, summons a token to replace it when a monster you control is tributed by an effect other than this cards, and it can tribute one token, special summon from your hand. So it's a pretty decent one. That's why we're running three of, and because we have three. We only have two Tether Wolf. Uh, this is another very important card because when it is normal summoned, you special a Phantom Beast token. And then once per turn, once per battle, sorry, you can uh, give this monster 800 attacks. So you can give it kind of a 
Rush Recklessly type effect to tribute a token. Colt Wing special summons a token. When it is special, then you control another mech of Phantom Beast. We have a couple of ways to do that. And then once per turn, you contribute two tokens to target a card your opponent controls and destroy and banish it. Two copies of Black Falcon. This summons a token when it attacks. And you contribute one token to make a monster face up defense position. Blue Impala is one of our tuners, because this is also a synchro archetype, so we're using an interesting synchro NXT's package. Uh, Blue Impala can only be used for machine synchros, but the other materials are Mega Phantom Beast monsters in our hand or field, so we can do hand synchro stuff for pretty interesting things. And then, if my opponent only controls monster, I can banish it to special summon a token. So I can use it to set up stuff. Hamstrat gives you two tokens when it's face up, and then you can sack a token to get a Mecha Phantom Beast from your graveyard once per turn. So, pretty good. Uh, not quite as good as Stealth Ray, though. This is our other three of, because he's got a fat booty. Stealth Ray uh, summons a token and inflicts battle damage to your opponent, and then you can tribute a token to Poppy Spell Trap. And Warbalon is our other tuner. It's a level 1 tuner. You summon a token when you use this card for a Synchro Summon of a Machine-type monster, though it locks you to win monsters, and while you control a token, you know, can't destroy it as usual, you contribute one other Mecha Fan to Beast monster to increase this by level by one, and you should be able to do that uh, with tokens, because tokens are Mecha Phantom Beast tokens. For our spell traps, we got the usual Heavy Storm Dark Hole running an upstart because we're at 45 cards. Hopefully that's not a problem. Like I said, this deck will evolve, and I'm going to learn what ratios are important as we go through. We have three copies of Vertical Landing. Vertical Landing, when you uh, sack a wind monster, basically tribute any number of wind monsters, summon an equal number of tokens. You can only do activate once per turn. It's a quick play, though. Three MST, Scapegoat. A lot of these say just tokens, so Scapegoat's a really good way to get a lot of tokens out. It does lock up our board if our opponent isn't popping tokens, but hopefully they won't be. Void, because it's better than Deep Dark. Mirror Force, TT, two Spiritual Wind Dart, Miyabi, tribute any one wind monster. Target all monster controls and place it on the bottom of the deck. That's very important, very annoying. Toxic Monster does a tribute. Uh, two copies of Sonic Boom. This is basically limited removal for the archetype. Target a Mecha Phantom Beast. Its attack is doubled, unaffected by other spell traps. Does piercing. If that effect is applied to the monster correctly, so this doesn't get solemn judgmented, uh, destroy all machine-type monsters you control during the end phase. Other monsters can't attack. But this is a great way to swing for game on some of our bigger boys and just get in there for a big punch because it's unaffected by spell traps. Air we charging. Let's us special summon a token, but we have to tribute a token or send this card to the graveyard, but still. So that gives us a token generation machine. One call of the haunted to hopefully fish out cold wings or other bring back other stuff we need. Two, do a barrel roll. Uh, which is our... It's our version of Infinity Barrier, so we have to have... Uh, tr Mega Phantom Beast tokens to tribute to activate this, but it's an Omni Negate. And uh, two Negate attacks, because we can't do Deep Raise, and I figured the Counter Trap on Negate Attack is better. Plus, I don't actually mind if my opponent has monsters a lot of the time. I can remove them through other means, like Miyabi or other stuff. So the extra deck's pretty important. We've split, we've gotten splitsies on this between Xyz and Sinks, because we can do a lot of interesting things. You know, if we if we just have, like, a Haralard and a Warbulon, we could do five. So we've got Kataster and... Who is a machine, by the way. So that has synergy. And then Armadas, because it's great. Uh, we actually have our Mecha Phantom Beast, Konkuruda. Which uh, makes it so tokens we control can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. So this can set us up with a little bit of a lock if we have tokens. That can pretend our uh, monsters out there. Um... But it does, itself does not have protection, so it can still be popped, but it does give you some interesting, like, pop protection back and forth between a couple of your monsters. And then, if this card you control is destroyed by your opponent's card by battle or card effect, it's sent to the graveyard. Tribute all tokens you control. Target a level 4 Mecha Phantom Beast to special summon it. Uh, we have our our sevens, as I said, other, other seven machines, which work for Blue and Pollen stuff. Uh, Dark Strike Fighter, which I traded Dallas for. It should just be a decent body we can summon. And... Bure is another decent body on a 7 who also does have that battle-fixing effect. Stardute. I don't know how easy Stardute is to make in this deck, but it's very important. Uh, and hypothetically, I could side deck. Probably not in this version, but if, if like, say, uh, Saberhawk is enough that I don't need DD Crows, I can probably take out two DD Crow and replace that with, uh, with Starlight Road if my opponents are playing a lot of destruction. 
Uh, Gigantic Castle is a 9. That's a monster that makes sense for us to make with these. And it does gain attack and defense for each non-Tuner Synchro monster. So there's our new Generic Boy and the Star Reader. I may have to swap this out. This is technically on loan. Axis said he wants to trade me one of his two Star Readers for my decks. But we have not quite worked out exactly what I'm going to give him back for it. So it's kind of a loner. I might have to switch this out before the tournament. We we've got a couple of weeks, so I'm hopeful we can lock in that trade of some level. I just probably have to remind him to take something off me for it. But uh, Star Eater is a motherfucker of a boss card. It is a generic 11. And uh, sometimes Mega Phantom Beasts get swole. Uh, keep in mind, you know, usually we're summoning one token. Those tokens are all level 3. So a level 4 with one token on the board becomes a level 7. With two tokens on the board, you're adding 6. It becomes a 10. So... If you have two tokens, Warbulon and, you know, Saberhawk, that's a level 10 Saberhawk, that's a level 1 Warbulon, boom. Star Eater. It's a whole thing. This also plays to our Xyz levels. Uh, we've got our basic bitch level, f uh, rank 4, I should say, Utilities, Papli Operative, Jin. They're both pretty important generics. They let you do a lot of battle manipulation stuff. And Jin at least can stick to the board if we, you know, aren't summoning... A lot of things that matter. Then we have our seven. Seven is one of our easiest numbers to make. Technically, so our sixes, but I just don't have the good rank sixes yet. That won't be until after Star Pack next week. Maybe I can throw in a Strike Bouncer or something, or a, or a Ford Focus, as Dallas likes to call it. But we do have a decent seven package. So we've got a Gaia Dragon Thunder Charger, which does piercing. Uh, we've got the boy, the actual, we got this, the secret rare, the actual archetype uh, monster, Dracosac. This is a motherfucker. So this is two level sevens, and it's generic. Uh, once per turn, you can detach a material to a special summon a Mecha Phantom Beast to, uh, two Mecha Phantom Beast tokens. It has the protection effect, and then you can tribute to destroy any tar any card on the field, but it can't attack. But hopefully, you have monsters on board for that. Uh, we also have Master of Blades. This is a very good seven for us to have. Uh, very good stat line, and is hard to get rid of. Uh, tens are also possible for us. So I threw in a couple. We have uh, Real Cannon Gustav Max, which was a card bank card. Detach to do... It's got 3k attack and detach to do 2k damage. This can be good for OTK swings and is, like I said, very possible. You get two level 4s on the board and two tokens. You've got two level 10s. Uh, and then similarly, we have Sky Palace Gengaradai. Uh, you can destroy a monster, do 1k damage. You can't attack, but it's a big, big Sky Boy. And it works out. It's a wind as well. So that's our extra deck stuff, main deck. Side deck, two Black Horn. Um, if my opponent is into just generic Xyz or Synchro spam, Black Horns can be very good to re remove those inherent specials. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff it misses timing on, so side decked. Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, Evil Swarm is very horseshit and really fucks my... my well, it kind of fuckles my deck. It doesn't do anything about the Xyz, but it, it will probably fuckle my Synchro angles, so... Shadow Imprisoning for certain deck types will be very important. Goes in match. The Almost the entirety of my... Well, the entirety of my main deck is wind, and a lot of my side deck is wind. That's why Stardust is in here as well. Mind Crush if they're doing Searching. Lance Chalice if we need those negates. Night Beam if we need more removal. Veiler if we need more effect negation, and also gives us an access to another tuner. Uh, the DD Crow, just because I should be playing more DD Crows. Like I said, if Saberhawk works out, I might cut those for, like, Starlight Root or something. And then just, I needed a 14th card. Jinzo is a... Six, which means Warbalon plus him, we can tune into a, one of our sevens. And he negates traps, so he is a machine who does stuff. He may actually be relevant. But uh, I hope we can at least show off this deck and have some fun. Uh, Mega Phantom Beast can be pretty complex and funny. I hope we actually can, you know, do some of the work to make this show good on camera. Please, for once. All right, I'm going to see you in the deck builds, which will probably be not, not the deck builds, the brackets and the deck lists, I guess, yeah. So uh, that'll probably be recorded like a week from now, so we'll see how that works out.
hit start record. Numbers are ticking. Oh. Oh. Welcome to week 48, Shadow Spectrars. You guys know the decks. I don't know the decks. Let's go to game one. Well, I gave you a hint of my deck if you know let's Chinese mythology and probably... remember my username right, before you change it. Breaks. No, I don't remember your username uh, before I changed it. Also, by the way, my, 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 my current there. username is That's not a joke about Yu-Gi-Oh! decks right now. It's just double layered. Oh, first. Uh, my current uh, user, <laughs> user joke is a punishment from Daddy Senpai. Wow, this is... Man. Okay, this is actually a start. Uh, let's go ahead and start off. Now, I'm fairly one. certain I know Dragon what... Irving? Yep. I, I was about to say, I, I fairly certain okay, I know ready? what Robin, who is blue player, by the way, on the top. Uh, I know what deck go he's running, because he has, like, two decks. That could be... Uh, yeah, no, why yeah, that could be one of again? two decks. Because well, he has two decks. No, I'm good. saying the Dragon Ravine could be one of two decks. True. I could don't be. know why you haven't made two decks. Guys. You're good at him Because he doesn't have them, you bougie fuck. X. Uh, Where are also, my cards that I've drawn to play new decks, huh? Huh? Do I get 17 new archetypes every set? No. I don't have that luck. I don't get comp. You don't want to, like, rares. the only new, I think the only new archetype that, that Robin is interested in in this set would be Ghost Trick, and we're only, like, halfway there. We have one wave of their three waves of support. Uh, to be, yeah, Legacy, good. after oh. Legacy the Valiant, though, I do think it's playable. Probably. Yeah, it's got some good yeah. stuff in there. Well, yeah, because the, the key card is in the... Yeah. Uh, no, I, I'm literally just being, like, aren't there, like, like 20 other things? I don't know. Whatever. No. no it, definitely I say matters. Sometimes it's hard to make decks. I, uh, I mean, I, li I I had a, a a tiny baby breakdown last yeah. last time we played when I was like, I literally don't know what deck I'm gonna make next week, guys. So like, but, I had uh, other decks and then people banned them. So also, 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 Dragoonity Jeweler is a deck. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, there's yeah, a guy. Uh, it's Catastrophe Pass. Interesting, interesting choice. Uh, my hand. Interesting was that you're playing level. Catastrophe. I mean, it still uh, works a, depending on what deck you're going. Five, All right, let's do this. I mean, it, apparently it's perfect. He's playing Photon. Uh, I mean, this, my options were this or... Uh... Blackwing? Uh, no, no. My options were uh, for rank five, uh, sync fives to go into were this or Hyper Librarian. I was like, there's zero chance access oh. playing any that sync or summons. I mean, Caster is the choice, yes. Oh, uh, uh, let's see. I'm actually not has too to scared this. of whatever you summon. Well, I mean, yeah, attack this kills yeah. uh, Catastor. It's in the gates, yeah. Once per battle phase, at the start of your battle phase. Yeah, once per battle phase. You know, for all those second battle phases. You well, know. remember, if you get it negated, you could declare it again. I never had that happen before, but it did. Uh, yeah. I just love how this deck is designed to OTK. Those are so fun uh, to interact. That is what it does. Uh, people gave this man some pieces for this. All right. Um. I was used to deck breaking, but holy shit, it worked. <laughs> I mean, I suppose that is the risk. It is a bit like... That is the OTK deck. Uh, yeah, this, deck, okay, this, this deck pops off or it fucking fails. Well, I mean, yeah, that's playing OTK decks. Everybody who's ever played Blue Eyes knows that. And Galaxy Eyes is, Galaxy slash Galaxy Eyes is just Blue Eyes, but with more effect monsters. I'm actually a pr I'm actually a proud of how I like tuned this deck up a bit. So, no, like, <laughs> it's, so far, it's a good showing. Yeah. Well, you've made I, two, I, I you've made two yeah. fully materialed rank eights on turn one. And yeah. I don't I know what exactly this. Robin's going to do about it, because you can only play one Cataster, unfortunately. Yeah, and I also have Felgrins. Uh, I also have, like, I have stuff. <laughs> Let's go ahead and not play around like Knights here. God, I can't wait. Genuinely. Uh, once per turn, how long? How long for mech fights? So it's in the gate, but also like it's basically a, it's a forbidden lance. No, how how long? Till the end of the turn. No, he's talking about mech knights. That's uh, let's link era. That's a oh, legacy card. Uh, that's that's. Uh -huh, okay. I just keep joking about it because I always play around mech knights. Well, it's gonna be. It, you have to play around the mech knight column in the future. 
Uh, Me, it's the security force call, but hey. it's also no, everyone. That's not how security force you. works. You keep trying to make security force. Effects, I mean, they do column effects. Yeah, but it's not like mech knights. You don't get free summons if you put too much shit. Fair in enough. Your I, 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 I'm used to, I'm used to just playing uh, Tiaton with it. Tiaton. Go with this. Still got Yana here. I mean, yeah, you got to try and climb into something large. Uh, nah. I'm not seeing how he gets out of this, but maybe Robin's uh, better. I am pretty good at using it. We do know that. Uh, oh, that's funny. I have to go in the back. Okay. That would be funny. Um, There's a few ways. I'm going to go ahead and activate... No, that doesn't work. Dragon right. Ravine. Pitch. Uh, my second lightning. Yeah, my hand is not. Wait, I have double. And uh, a lot of elves. Uh, and we're gonna go Dukes for the crackback. If I. Provided I make it to the crackback. I don't know if you will. You can't kill Thelgren, I'm not sure. Uh, well, the one he has to get rid of is Tachyon, but the question is if well, it's, it's, can he get rid of a true thumb round? So he just needs to make 3k more attack. Well, actually, no. If he just crashes, he still loses because he'll spell brain. No, that yeah, doesn't, no, it uh, doesn't work. It negates the effect, so it wouldn't get the double when you have the attack. What are we talking about? That sounded like a non second. Felgrand does not negate battle destruction. No, no, I'm talking about if he made a 3k beater. And he attacked Tachyon, he would still die. Oh, right. Yeah. Felgrand is still just a there. Felgrand is to 28, and he doesn't have that many life points because Tachyon is dumb. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna go for Felgrand. Alright. And when this oh, is. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's. I, I think that's the joke. I don't even know. I mean, it is. I mean, but it's not funny from you because we've been bitching about your back row powers for no, weeks. No, it's. it's it's like, oh man, Look, Axe has, has, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, he's it's just, not his back row powers that drives me insane, Omega. It's his ability to draw removal. <laughs> I mean, usually it is the back row removal. Anyway, going to game two. All right. It's All right. just uh, his, I'm just gonna his protection. I just have the god hand. Happening. That's okay. Axe has to beat up two people who get bans to go to finals. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not playing this deck anymore, sadly. Well, we uh, don't know. Got it. one yet. That was only game one. Yeah, Maybe and you're, you're playing an OTK really deck, so you can very easily uh, take. Yeah, I, I'm trying Robin, to Robin I, might actually do side do this deck properly. Right? Yeah, how do I side deck not to first utterly? I can't. How do you do side deck? Are you playing Necro Valley? <laughs> no. I don't well, get rid of that guy. Uh, are you playing I'm Soul Drain? Playing that. Um, I Look, I had Necro Valley in like I half of my fuck. side decks. I even. I, for, I, I explained my side deck, but I because I shot the segment for that like week days ago. But what the fuck is even in my side deck? <laughs> I don't even remember right <laughs> Why now. Why is it there? Uh, are you? Uh, I mean, I'm pretty in, sure um... my side deck doesn't do anything against photons. It's called "I have to pray that I can out uh, a 3K hitter." It, and I won't, so that photon... means I have to ban all three. Okay, this is gonna sound uh, dumb when yeah. I say it. Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon is a dragon, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, yeah, Electric Driver still works against that deck. I'm it does. gonna go... Nobody but you is side-decking that, though. Second. I don't know why. Every deck this week is dragons Be except But it's yours. not... You're wrong, though, Dallas. You're actually wrong. And because there's no guarantee that it's dragons is the problem. I would side-deck Electric Virus, and then I would end up matched with Loth, even though he's not in the format, and he would be playing all Ancient Gears. Actually, no, that works for Electric Virus. Those are also machines. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I would face wait, wait David, who's playing Go Go Go's, which are all rocks. That would be how I'd no, I mean, fucking no, die. No, Omega, that would be the time I, I bring back Fortune Lady. <laughs> yeah, or so, yeah, you play an all Spellcaster yeah, deck. Well, like, that's, when you... that's just how my luck works. I can't play edge cases like that. That card would be dead. Yeah, then there's this asshole. Look, Omega, I was 99% sure uh, Robin was going to run a dragon deck this week. Well, I mean, yes, because that's we banned his deck that's not dragons. Exactly. And it's not like I've had many options to make 
fucking no one. Honestly, I mean, Black Wings is pretty good right now. No, it is. I, I tested it. I made a, I made my control Blackwing deck. Wow, the power move. Hey, Robin, I got no. Hey, I didn't need it. The <laughs> power did. move. Here's the problem. Axe has two uh, back row. You can't get shit. Some cards. Yeah, you you won't be able to play the game one, of Yu-Gi-Oh. He's drawing his one mirror force. And oh, his TT. Sure. I mean, if he TTs uh, on this, that's not that's... worth it. That, 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 I, I, just, I just fuck myself. No, I'm just yeah. saying that is mirror force TT set. <laughs> yes, it is. But seriously. I hate for those cards to go on the ban list just because we can't get Axe to not sack, to not Simo. <laughs> this is this is my mood. Should I go? Considering... Should I go dig up the the invisible clip? The invisible clip. Dig it's a progression. I'm it's a progression invisible. reaction joke. Uh, uh. Every time a DM staple is played, thank God we banned Snatch Steel forever. Oh God, thank you. No, like honestly, Mirror Force. I don't think Mirror Force and TT are a problem at one. Uh, no, but I'm not convinced that they won't get banned. Well, that's because people here are bad at banning. Well, I mean, it, it comes down to the fundamental questions, right? Like, what do you what do you ban so that Axe can't play this Saki OTK deck and kick your ass? Do you hit Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon? That seems no, rude. No, Star Star Liege Pal. Uh, but Paladino didn't do anything it? in game. No, Galaxion. Galaxion. Uh, I have a question. Galaxion so didn't Dallas do anything in fighting game Axe one. this week? Yeah, but the thing well, is... Right in the final. To, to say this, the thing is, uh, Galaxion... Like, yes, Axe did draw a god hand uh, game one. I can't deny that. Um, but... I, I knew it. I fucking Lance. knew it. It's just he... Like, how? I, I did not draw... Actually, you're not, not gonna draw, have a good week, uh, by the way. All my you need to, you need to, you need to become and, less lucky. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. Right, that's game two. That's I, it. I didn't draw my side deck. I didn't draw any spell or trap cards. Yeah, that that's was it. not a good show. I did into 17 pieces of interaction and or 15, and I got nothing because I was ready for these kinds of decks. I, I, and I, I have to admit, Robin, I, I feel bad for thinking it, but the moment I saw him make two big monsters and then set to him like, well, Robin can't win. Axe has back row. You need him to draw all no, monsters. I, uh, Thank you for winning a game, Axe. Axe, okay. you you have the most wins of the format. I am dead certain there are a lot of them where we didn't really feel positive or negative in any way. Some of them we were okay. probably excited for you to win. I don't you remember just don't any time that's... Because Gener you bid 48 no, minutes no, no, and you Axe, won like 50 his... fucking Axe, times. Axe doesn't remember the early days of this format where he did have troubles. Or God, you guys remember the? Do you guys remember decks. the? We're on camera, by the way. I'm gonna wax poetic. Do y'all remember? Because that was like five minutes. Y'all remember the sanguine days of fucking uh, molten destruction beats when that card I had to be banned? I remember the day I was really sick and I had to fight Omega, like when he was using Toll and like Chain Energy on me, and I had to win <laughs> my last card. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That was amazing. Man, but... Those days haven't really changed. Looks at last week. We're gonna tribute Necro Valley. <laughs> Yeah. All right, let's yeah. let's go to RPS, guys. Oh, that, that was, I that was awful. Oh my God. Hmm. Yeah. I'm like, oh, look at all these malefics I have, and it is like more tribute. Look at all those cards <laughs> you don't have. <laughs> well, David, this was a nice game. Uh, uh, I apologize for what's about to yeah, happen. This is going first, by the way. I'm excited. I want to see uh, this massacre. Oh, oh no. Oh what? my God. Blue eyes. Oh my god, it's hooked up his bullets! Holy shit! Oh, it's Dragon Bullets! <laughs> Kid Moto! I love that card. Holy shit, that card's not bad. <laughs> That's good. It's also adorable, look at that thing. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> well, it's turn one, so he can't do the OTK. Holy shit! <laughs> but Dallas is playing... Oh, is he going to alternative? Is he going to go with Spirit? That, that's no. available, right? I mean, it is Spirit available, but no, that's not or... what he'd go for it. Oh, right, you send it because it, right. you get a second send off Dragon Train that way, so you thin out your deck. And he's going to use that to do that. Is he going to uh. overlay into the Divine Dragon Knight Felgret? He can do Thunder and Dragon there. right now. There's there's a lot of cards he can do with this, actually. Oh, well, no, I can't actually go into Felgret. If you read uh, Dragon Shrine. I can only, dragon. only summon dragon monsters this turn. Oh, is Felgren not no, a dragon? No, that, no, that, it? that, 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 it's Kid Moto Dragon. 
Sorry, get him out. You can do thunder I know end, one thing locks me dragons. Oh, Felgrand like, is not a dragon. Felgrand not a, he's lit. Well, I mean, he's. I know he's, he's divine a dragon knight. knight, but like seriously, come on. Is he a warrior? Say, so he's a warrior. It'd be it'd be what if he was a beast warrior? I'm pretty sure there is a Felgrand dragon as well. Anyway, yeah. This is a, this is what I mean um, though. Uh, I didn't. You get a normal card trooper. What? <laughs> well, he's gonna mill three. <laughs> mill three. Those were a bad mill three, Dallas. Oh, oh, Dark Hole. You need to get better at mill three. Because if David um, has Dark Hole in hand, you're gonna you're gonna be in, in a bad way. Also, Dallas, if that was turn two, you would have. Uh, yeah, I wish. Um, also, David, has I need lightning to take. Cortex? Uh, uh, I well also that. wish. Yeah, I no. I need to take a second and think. Yes. No. That's fair. About if if my deck can do anything about this. Just play. Just play. Show your deck off anyway. Yeah. No, Axe has this uh, weird obsession with not surrendering early, but you should not waste the viewer's time. Their time is valuable. Uh, uh I can do something. But there's a couple of cards that can work around this. Yeah. If I uh, unfortunately, I didn't this, I get any of them. Yeah. So, gonna gonna start with this guy. Alright, that's what I realized with my games when I instantly surrendered. Oh. Boxers. Clash George Yo. Warrior Battleman box. Yeah. That is a death. Into that guy. Oh. So, That'll delay the inevitable. Yeah. Caliber. Yeah, pitch two, get 4k. Are you my master? I mean, DMD is a good hit. Yeah, I get, I get one good hit this. here. Well, you'll get a second hit because you can pop the card trooper regardless of your attack level as well. But Dallas yeah. has a card off that. Yeah. And we'll probably put it, it into your defense. Opponents. Yes, Excalibur's a really good card that. if you're playing Warriors. Alright. How do I want to do this? Card trooper defense, I guess? I need to read a card. I mean, it depends. There's a few loops here. The paths are open. Oh, I can get. Yeah. I mean, I got I got the first hit in. Yeah. Yay. And you got rid yeah. of DMD, Dallas which is, is actually really good because Dallas totally stacked his graveyard. Yeah. Dallas is no longer dragon locked, and it's the. Uh... Oh, well, he did a dragon anyway. First, I'm doing that. Yo. Oh, oh, oh. oh, Christ! Milling fucking gum. Oh, mythic. Oh. <laughs> uh, how many cards? I'm gonna guess two. Two for two. Yeah, it was my MST. Oh, he had that guy in his hand, huh? You had the dude. Mm -hmm. God damn it! My goal is to get every other dragon rope band. Dallas is going to get specifically temp uh, title band. I, mean, I don't know. He, he started. He started with a redox move that was very important. He redox. That was a redox. Yeah, he redox he, he and kid redox. Modoed into yeah. blue eyes, which started this whole shit. Uh, and he's gubbing. Alternative, yes. Alter yeah, alternatively, he might just right finally now. get gub banned again. Because that's going to be sick. Re is it Stardust? The real reason I was. Uh, uh, it's A Stardust. Oh, oh spark. spark. Interesting. Oh, right. Targetable. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted, I wanted to take Spark instead of. Uh, I fucked up my extra deck. Thanks for reminding me, Dallas. Spark would have actually saved me. <laughs> I like looking at Chad to see Ma. <laughs> Bark is a fun card. I'm so yeah. It has more right, G versus all uses, honestly. Right. Uh, it it uh like threatening or is chainable. Well, mm -hmm. effect. and it activates to is that MST for MST? Did you top deck that? <laughs> yeah, I top deck that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think I get to do anything here. Let me double check real quick. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, the issue with Spark is you have to be over. Up. Yeah, no, I I have to over here. Yeah. You, even if you somehow get a bigger monster, uh, start a Spark. So this is the miserable yeah. week where everybody's playing Unga Bunga Dragon decks. This was the week I was waiting for. The week we all. You had... told me that you wanted to get the Dragon Rulers banned. I'm not playing any yes, Dragon Rulers. But I, I, I still. Oh, man, Actually, this deck is literally the just a dragon playing, deck. You would have won. I'm not playing Malefic's Unga Booker Dragon is what everyone else is playing. 
Yeah, basically. That's what it seems like. Like, Axe isn't playing rulers, though he could. Look. Um, but it's like... I, I don't I don't already put it because I'm only playing, playing light cards. Uh, like, I, I just, just named this you don't, to, you don't need to fill up my space, jeez. Fuck. You're not here so we can finally win the battle phase. Everything's yeah, going all it. in. <laughs> I need to do battle phase then. I mean, it's Fuck true. I, even though we made some big bunk draws, nobody's gonna nobody's gonna cheat out of a 5k beater and be like, come at me, bro, I'm ripped. <laughs> It makes or yeah, synchro like, summon a, a 40k a 4k beater from your hand. Yeah, because it's like honestly, law. Part of why I think I grew to be tired of the of it is that it kind of makes having anything with big stats not feel important ever. Says the man uh... playing the OTK deck. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Well, the thing that's happening right now is I can feel good about it. <laughs> yes, I know. I'm covered. In, I'm covered in glass wounds. No, Axis somehow managed to stab me and it also uh, stab himself at the same th this, time. This, uh, I'll say for the audience's sake, uh, this deck's name in my files is just a small war crime. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that'll. That's still a lot of war crime. Is it just, so? Is it just blue eye? So it's it is legit just blue eyes. Uh, I bricked last game. Uh, <laughs> what? Fuck you you drawing kid, draw, No, drawing kid moto is a brick. Uh. The entire goal is to pitch it with Dragon Shrine. Yeah. I mean, I the rest of your card, the rest of your hand this, works but... I, I mean, you should really use that pull on yourself, Robin. Oh, no, okay, he did a wheel spin. Yeah, yeah, I realize that now. I mean, if if I use it on myself, I'm grabbing your turn of the Monarchs. Uh, uh, so so I'm going to MSG Dragon here. Folk. <laughs> All the cards that oh, I wanted of this choice. were uh, ah. rare and lower. I mean, you can still grab a rare. It would be a little bit of a waste, though. Uh, do you have an OTK? Because if you do, I'm dead. Uh, me? No. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. No, I mean, I, I can, Yeah, I was going to say, I'm... Um, you can make I, Excalibur, probably. That's probably the best move in his deck, but you can't do that like... Uh, you can, yeah. You can make Excalibur and Utopia double. It's over. Uh, yeah, no, I, I will say right now, I can't. Utopia double for circulation? No. Um, it's, it's, it's like two weeks away. Or something. I think what it's I do. Oh. Sorry, yeah, battling sorry. boxes are fire. Yeah. It loves that right. blaster. Get those. Get those guys now, out. He can't attack, but if you get him in the graveyard and summon him again, he can attack. Yeah. He's playing witchers over. And he's blaster. blaster. I mean, all of all of the boxers are low defense as well. I'm surprised you're not more surprised by the blaster than the. <laughs> no, the blaster actually yeah. makes sense because they're all fire. It's, oh wait, the these fire. both make sense. It's just the witch doesn't work out the season. I'm a dumb dumb. I forgot. I mean, not everybody uses like that's the thing. You, I think you could play one witch in some of these formats, and people were playing her. Yeah, interesting. The fuck? What? It's a turn. Wait, it's a cool target Resta? off. Yeah, it's a tur searchable target off of Dragon Shrine. And it also makes a lot of rank 8 synchros. Because uh, Dragon mm -hmm. Rulers. But Koreska is like the worst level one. Yeah, but it's the only level one. That's not true. Nah, that's not Literally true. not true. Uh, what, uh, what else is? Uh, at least two more. I mean, functionally, they behave the same in my deck. Yeah, but Brandy Stock is way better. Anyway, we're doing the eight move. OTK. Yeah, this is what i Done the mythic thing. Mm, hold on. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if the back row matters. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Spice exactly salad. matters. I'll, I'll eat that. Oops. Oh, oh yeah, piece of shit. Did. This, this guy needs to go. <laughs> well, guys, we've done it. We are finally going to kill Redux. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, Dallas, are you going to Redox Pass? <laughs> it's yep. Redox Pass, baby. Oy. Crazy thing is, I think Dallas could have gotten This Tempest boy, Dallas, Dallas presenting Battle Redox Pits. on a platform and then also tying a noose around Redox Black at Data, the same time. Uh, duality? duality. You really want to do like a tutorial special? Sure. Really? I mean, I don't know if he wants a special. I mean, you can't exceed them. Yeah, but he, I don't know if he can make an ex... Well, he could... No, actually, he can't, because she's a spellcaster. I don't know if he can make Excalibur. Yeah, this anyway. should not be a spoiler, but I'm playing all four of the Dragon Rulers, so... Uh, I, 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 was, I was mostly yeah. expecting that, yeah. 
I've seen yeah, this is just rulers. Rulers. I was expecting it. This is just a dragon ruler deck. Yeah, this is, this yeah, is pure yeah. rulers. Well, as pure as you get with rulers. Well, yeah, it, it's, they're it's not dragon good so stuff with dragon rulers. That's what you do. So, yeah, no. I'm guessing it's because this is the deck I have been expecting to exist for like three weeks. I'll uh, I didn't exist yet because of Dragon Shrine. Yep. Now you lost your pop redux. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Which beats? Yep. The ultimate ruler, which of the Black Forest. Ah, uh, you can start smoking some things or something. Uh, oh, whoa. Whoa. If whoa. I, can I do that now? No. Uh, no. Yeah, but it, nah. yeah, yeah, I mean, you can't activate not. it, but it's too late. He's already banished for the cross. Did anyone even yeah. hear what Axe said? It banishes for cross. Yeah. I uh, did not. Wow. Oh, Dallas is oh, doing the thing he says shit. effect really should be banned for. It's the level no, Tuna. That There's no way I said that. I said I was tired of getting turn one Baylor, you liar. It's a hundred percent argument you made. You're like Baylor's too good. Uh, you, you you do mention that as a supplementary <laughs> reason. I mean there, supplementary Dallas reason. is Dallas is bias against Baylor runs deep, yes. <laughs> it's mostly for the getting negated thing, but also you did say arguments to the effect of but also it lets decks tune that couldn't normally tune. It's it's a level one tutor, guys. It's too he was more just trying to like make an argument because he's just got traumatized with being bailed so many times by you, by most of us. I, I, I feel like I should actually just use it to level one tune. I think I should have showed up with the with the this is the daily confidence. Like yeah, it 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 can tune. You can see gate with it. Anyways, uh, oh wait, if you are on wall, fucks up Malefic. Shit. Pure Iron Wall fucks Lutton's. a lot of decks, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see here. So. I'm sorry, I just imagine trying to banish Blue Eyes just throw them at the wall. Uh, yeah, bring up Switch Hitter. Grab. Guess it doesn't really matter. I. To view some of my options real quick. I just noticed that Valley Boxes are. They're about swarming, but they have a lot of weird costs for the, the swarming. The floodgate themselves, but I, I mean, think they're... If, if with the pure battle and boxer engine in like two months or two months, uh, it's like three rank fours on the board turn one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I I know like I because I have close so this. well yeah the restrictions common, make but... sense later when it's not just like one XZs per turn. I meant like I have the one in the chaos oh. XZs. I assume you also play like a, a, a rank of magic in this too. I don't think you play rank of magic. You don't bother no, playing you just, play the, you just play all your good rank fours. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're also the the which uh, is the other big thing that I think a lot of rank fours. But it's okay, he's gonna make the. I will. I will actually go into right. that. That's the bad one. And by bad, I mean that's the one that's a real pain in the ass to deal with. It just gets tougher. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's a reason why, why Seem, not that David knows this, but there's a reason why Simo switched to this strategy. Yeah. Uh, to get rid of uh, dragon rulers. Alright. Uh -huh. I would like to draw some of my spells and traps that I have 50. Uh, hey, oh, so you do? Yeah. Well, you'll get some longevity. Hmm. <laughs> That's funny. What's the target for the this deck? Uh, it can, it can summon the battle in boxers, because they're 200 defense or less, a lot of them. Yeah, it's I any fire. I have not fire seen fire. any of those yet. Well, well it's, uh, have uh, enough of them are. I mean, they're fire monsters. It would make sense. Also, it, it's it's a fire level four. It's good enough right now. Yeah, it has I mean, it has an attack. It has a special summon. Yeah, there's a whole thing. Yeah, uh, let's see. I mean, it's just punching. Uh, uh, I have a couple of draws. Hold on, I I have a I I have a couple options here. But yes, uh, I I will. I don't really know what those are. 
Oh, you're rank four. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Rank four. Core. Okay. Oh, less attack. Oh, yeah, I'm done. Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking it's also it's also negative damage if you do that. Yeah. Oh no, I was. Thought it was. So that thought it was, was actually a mistake, but. Oh. And I drew blaster, so that is a surrender. All right, going to that all important game three. Yeah, blaster all with right. no fire monster in hand. Oh, you, oh, I guess you couldn't. I guess you couldn't uh, blaster blaster with my hand of fucking tidal blue eyes. Yeah, no. Oof. And you can't banish. Ah, you so. should just. You should just not play tidal. You just don't want tidal to get banned. Correct. <laughs> yes. I have not made this okay. a secret. I think I'm gonna do that. I don't think title's gonna get banned. No. Oh no. No. I, I... Well, Omega, say that. I. No, I mean, never you... say never. Well, I'm not gonna do it. I don't think Robin's gonna do it because no, you've I gubbed have, and redoxed no. already. Well, you haven't seen what title can do in this deck. Uh, it, it can pull a fairy on monster. Yeah, it can. <laughs> I, 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 I think I know fairy. exactly what it does with that deck. Speaking <laughs> of foolish burialing. That is so ashamed to say yep. it. Uh, yes, it can do that. I am mean to. Oh, I'll send a glass draw. Sorry, sorry, Dad. I'm not laughing at you, just the way you said it. He is. He's laughing at you. I'm not laughing at you. I'm just laughing at you. I will set three and pass. Okay, oh, that's right. Have form. They did sound like I was laughing at you. I apologize. Adeline yeah, Boxer so deck that doesn't turn when Xyz. Well, I'm gonna heavy storm. Because... All right, we need to bank out. Mm. Starlight Road, do it. <laughs> I I wish. I wish. Um. Are you gonna judgment me? No. So you're reading all your cards again? No. There's definitely something that can be done to stop this. The question is, is it worth no, it? No, it, it doesn't stop. stop. Yeah. It's it's not a stop. Uh, I will. I will. I will book my own guy. Ah, uh, uh, that's. Uh, and then it, 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 it was a compulsive way. MST. Nothing crazy. You should have you should have MST. Right. At least full fucking... No, no, trigger MST your own book of moon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, right. You don't blow up my book of moon. I blow up my book of moon. Interesting. Okay. No, but that would negate. And he's, he is actually using titles effect. Oh. Bitch, what? Redux. He's all here. I mean, that's an interesting choice. I don't know if it's going to do a whole hell of a lot. Still can't believe I didn't see a single spell card, except my field. Really, Tempest is the one you get back. And there's that guy with Mad Gub again. Tempest. And then the Gub again for uh, Sync 9. Oops. Oh my god, you fucking That's just blaster. funny. It didn't matter, it <laughs> didn't actually matter, but that's funny. You hid blaster. Yeah. That's... I mean... Yeah, no. <laughs> Fuck it. It, do it doesn't uh... matter in the long run, but it is really funny. And now we're gonna trigger blaster, banish effect, add a flame of guards, we've got another level 1 tuner. Oh boy! So this could be another sink eight into a rank eight. It's <laughs> not us boys. I, I think that's a wall you can't go through normally. Uh, well, yeah, see, Stardust can... and Stardust Spark together are really good. Yeah. yeah. That's why title is really good in my deck. It's, I, I, I mean, it is, but also you did get lucky with some other shit, like the fucking gub into the boy. They yeah. need to make a big enough that, Once again, that it. didn't actually. Oh, I, I mean, yes, it gave me an extra uh, tutor, but yeah. I had enough for redox anyway. Yeah, I mean, again, you would have accomplished the I will same MST thing with here. Dragon Shrine. Uh, um, Stardust. Gonna Stardust. 
Well, this is where he does the DD code for the punish. Quick, chain MST. I mean, if he has the DD code for the punish, he has the DD code for the punish. I can't do that. I, I don't actually. Soul release. Nobody got the DD code for the punish. In Dallas, I can make some period of iron wall for myself. Instead, I will activate Blaster. Blaster. Uh, Quick effect. That does activate. spark. Start a spark chronicle. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just. Do the thing. Yep. Yeah. I forgot that was also. You didn't read the card again, did you? Look, I've, I've. It's fine. You just did the, you did a, you did a Yu-Gi-Oh class. Okay. The this is the first week we're playing with this card. Yeah. We've l listen. Dal Dallas didn't read earlier. Several people. Uh, can you get 500 damage on board? Uh, let me check. Uh, yes, he can. He can. Well, no, his, his I, monster I in hand can. is Flameville Guard. Uh, you can get. You can I get. Uh, you can get Redux. You can sell that stuff like eventually. Also, I don't think. Oh yeah, you can you banish Redux? Earth and you have just... uh, you have Tempest and Gub. You just summon Redux and attack. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. Tr trust me. Okay. I I know Dragon Rulers. I didn't get to show it. Uh, I know these yeah. cards. Yeah. Yeah. If Dallas yeah. and Axe end up in the finals together, you deserve each other. Well, I mean, I'm gonna do my damnedest, well but I'm not gonna. I yeah. don't think no matter what matchup I end up losing to, yeah. I'm not sure it's I'm gonna have so a fun time. But there it is. There it is. Oh yeah, Omega. I'm ready, ready for you to kill. You say many things uh -huh. don't exist. I don't know about that. That has nothing to what do with I you am? being a perfect Yu-Gi-Oh playing machine who plays <laughs> every week regardless. I was, I was gonna, I was gonna <laughs> comment and I'm like, wait, huh? Omega kicked my ass that week. I can't say shit. <laughs> so how how many weeks in a row did people lose because of a card that comes back from the graveyard and they didn't play DD Crow? So I play DD Crow every, every week. week. To be fair, fair I have DD deck. Crow in a lot mouth. of my side decks. You shut your whore mouth, Robin. I, uh, have DD Crow I don't want you to have the battle phase actually. I don't usually like to go go second. But I don't want you to have I, the battle phase. I, you will kick my ass. I say, I say Dallas hates the battle phase. Omega actually hates the battle phase. No, Omega hates going. Uh, I usually hate going second because my opponent sets up all the fucking back row in the universe. There it is. See, uh, but the problem is I can't let Axe go second because he would OTK. Ah, uh, Omega, this you know. Yeah. I don't look at hand. My hand is bad. That's pretty interesting. Uh, you said holy that shit. Nightbeam. That's crazy. Yeah, that's actually Nightbeam. Crazy. Yes. Bottomless. Thank Single Christ. bottomless. There it is. It's gone forever. Now he might have a TT, but we'll see. It's still, it's still exactly TT Mirror Force. So I'm gonna see how many weeks. I'm gonna die to Grave Keepers now. I'm gonna have to trade for a TT. I'm not playing Grave Keepers. Oh. You don't have a TT. Mm -hmm. I don't know the fuck you're playing though. Yeah. No, I should just don't. always play Atlantean until. Oh, uh, lost. I'll summon blue. Oh, Mega Fantasies. Here we go. Did you get a? Uh, do you have a copy of Ghost Trick Go Round? Pretty sure he do. Also, but how, anyway, how not, does Lost not have a TT? Because I haven't traded for one. I was going to trade him like a Ghost 50 Trick Go Round. How? Yeah. Uh, my luck shit. You also just don't well, advocate don't to trade you. for cards, dude. Lot, lot. I, I, I will trade. If you have a Ghost Trick Go Round for trade, I will trade you a TT for it. I oh, have yeah, four. We'll talk about this off camera. Okay. Attack also, Phantom hopefully Phantom. after I do my post. We have, we have to discuss that Omega's running fucking Phantom Beast. Yeah, I've been building nah, this I knew, deck for I knew, a He's been building this deck all the time. No, yeah, no, I know, I know that. Good. Omega, you've kicked my ass with this deck in how many test games? Some. Uh, at least two. This is where I walk. Yeah, he's Some. kicked my ass with this. Really all of them. Interesting choice. Yo, okay. MSP. On my <laughs> vertical landing. Fucking... He has voodoo magic powers. I'm probably gonna die because I just didn't draw a card. How the fuck do you draw? Well, that's because you always draw MST. That's your problem. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, you should just play less back row and then lose to people who actually are able to attack. Yeah, people who are main decking right, MST yeah, are sus. We're gonna have some oh, problems. Geez. Everybody. Uh, well, uh, yeah. actually, I don't know if people were main decking MST. <laughs> Look, I was uh, main decking MST. Uh, I literally I, do I, not have MST in my deck. I I I have. I, I have all three MSC. No, no, what I, what I mean is in real life, I don't know if people were main decking MSC because you'd only play one. Some but people were, were a lot of people were main decking Night Beam right now because yeah. constructed. No, um, so no, like, no I, I say that, draw. I say that in no, jest. Okay. I'm still side decking it. I'm not an idiot. And I can't do anything with tokens. So like... I remembered Imperial Iron okay, Wall exists. So, if, uh, so I got to show when my deck does things and then my deck doesn't do things. Explode. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Oh, this is Photon. Welcome to the OTK live. This is Galaxy Eyes, everyone. I, I'm sad that I uh, got uh, so 
job dealt you, but this is why I don't, don't want to touch your deck. Because it's, it's, it's an OTK deck, so it does this. Well, I'm going to show I, something I, where I, I, I'm going to get in trouble, I, but I if you I, I, ban my Dracosec yeah. in my Mecha Phantom Beast deck, I will cry. No, I, when, does, uh, when does the other one come out? This is a card that's ban worthy. No, uh, Auroradon. Auroradon is the one. Whenever Auroradon comes out, that's when I will have to ban Dracosac. I have to keep it. Sorry, I mean... <clears throat> This boy and his matching We're... together. We never should have unbanned fucking Lance. God damn it. We were, we were worried about Robin this... having three defense. Fucking Dracosac is fine, about dude. An axe. I have no faith in Having one. Out. Yeah, exactly. It's oh, the fact go. that you keep drawing this power. And now you're gonna do your whole fucking combo, and I'm gonna lose. Oh yeah, I did foolish at the beginning of the turn. So well, thankfully, I can aerial recharge and get a tokeny boy back. But you'll just negate with fucking tachyon. I mean, my spiteful soul says to tell Tachyon to fuck off because I hate that guy, but it should actually be Forbidden Lance because that cost me the game just now, and Axe always fucking has it somehow. And I'm honestly, okay with Axe yeah, not having honestly, it. Honestly, I probably couldn't. I probably could have let you kill Thrasher, honestly. But actually, no, I needed it. Otherwise, I actually couldn't have done the play. So, knowing that actually, you no, have Lance focus. and then so. saying that Axe, that's even worse. Uh, I. I haven't played this game in two weeks. Oh, uh, yes, I'll take pity. Ah, again. that's great. That's a great excuse as you're winning the game. Make your fucking rank eights. Okay, fuck. Yeah, I mean... Kill me. So, Kill me if you can. You gotta do it now. There's... there's fucking the Kill me! <laughs> do it! I mean, no. That's what I'm saying. I'm telling him. He's gotta do it now. I'm here right now. Do it! You, you absolutely are uh, just go for this. Uh... Yep. Oh, tokens can't attack or be used to sink zero. Okay. Okay. Tokens can't attack. And... I don't have it anywhere now, so... Yeah, that's your thing. Well, sometimes you're good at Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, that's why I told yeah. him he had, to, he had to kill me right the fuck then. Oh. You already had it, okay. Uh, I had it in my hand, uh, but I have no further plays. I now see that activating his effect. I don't either, uh, so let's hit the anything. Yeah, but you have a shitload of monsters in your graveyard. Oh, okay, cool. I can do stuff with them. <laughs> well, let's see what happens. Well, Alternatively, he just he has another Photon Thrasher. I mean, I'm running three. I have to. I don't have enough monsters to stack sometimes. I mean, it's the Photon deck. If you're not running three of the best Photon, what are you doing? I mean, yeah, you're running this, you're running Crusher, you're running sometimes Satellite, if you want to do rank five plays. I'm pretty uh, sure 90% of rank four decks were running uh, three Photon after at this point in time. So clearly I should Because Yu-Gi-Oh players are nothing in if... Uh, Sheep um, are I mean, not I... allowed. Yeah. Oh, it's cheap. Oh, yeah. You're playing three outside yeah, of the yeah, box? Hmm. Hey, uh, I will argue I'm that dumb. my deck was thinking outside of the box. No one tried to do this last week. I'm, I'm not uh, talking about not, you, no. Dallas. I'm talking about the general public that aren't us. Oh, yeah, no. The Yu-Gi-Oh players are very, uh... Yeah, formulaic. I said Yu-Gi-Oh players. Yeah. I don't consider you a Yu-Gi-Oh player. Look. That's crazy. Ooh, Dallas, I no. second most did Yu-Gi-Oh play here. Okay. No, here's the thing. I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player with a magic brain. Yeah, that's the difference. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have magic brain, so it's like I can bring random bullshit into a tournament and win. That works. What's what do you mean I can't use Dark Magician as my commander? <laughs> Dude, Yu-Gi-Oh needs to That's crazy. Yu-Gi-Oh needs to make a commander mode. They have it built into the lore already. Dual spirit mode, you cowards. Uh, honestly, there's some decks you probably could make it work. Like, there's probably some dragon decks you could do. Yeah. I mean, I think the main thing is that the example we saw involved, uh, like, having special abilities. Hey, scapegoats. It'll just be like having <laughs> your... That's funny. That's funny. Oh, scapegoats that's funny. is great in this deck. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's really bad against... 
Uh, you know what's really bad counterplay against you? Ojamatria. Don't play that. <laughs> I love this. I know, right? Oh, speaking of which, did you see the chain burn uh, history of Jay? Interesting choice. So alive. Yeah, I did. I loved it. Ah, this oh, fuck. I'm really tempted to bring chain burn next week. Uh... I'm not going to, but I'm really tempted. Now, does Omega get a second monster? He does. Doesn't do anything. Honestly, this is a really good game. Now, now that it's slowed down to... Well, now that Axe did his big OTK board, but did not OTK, and I just had Dark Hole. Now we're in a bad way, because both Dark Holes are expended. I was gonna go ahead yeah. and play some last dodge while I'm waiting for this. This is just uh, that guy here. This okay, fucking yeah. card to get more. I think I know. Anime was a mistake. <laughs> You're correct. Anime was a mistake. This is uh, so. If you guys watched the Rush thing, uh, this was also my problem in Rush, where uh, I was trying to play decks that didn't have a lot of anime character support and kept getting bodied by decks that did. Uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna lose this. But well, that's because Rush is literally designed to be anime protagonist decks. myself and keep monsters on board. Uh, yeah, I think I know what wow. you should hit as That's well. That's a really but... interesting that choice. Was... Negates like protection effect. Yep. I guess, but I think you got a three attack to clear over there. And then you can't negate the second one. I'll worry about that next time. Uh, I do actually. I thought I wasn't gonna. But I do. Uh, All right. I My only it. hope is to do something cool. Uh, if you have a monster in your hand, that's possible. It is a monster. That's a good start. <sighs> Shit, dicks. Got a level. Uh, got a level ten. To, uh, no. Oh, ten. Ten. No, the generic level ten isn't until next week, buddy. Uh, also, isn't he a level 9? No, Leo Drake is 10. Oh, that's... Huh. Well, I'm gonna force you to use the negate. Oh yeah, actually too. It has, like, no defense. Yep. Alright, I have managed to hold the fuck on for a little bit longer. This is a good match. Grand nonsense. Yeah, I, bet, I mean, I, bet yeah. I don't know if it really is good. There's some interaction, I guess. I don't yeah. like that it's just come down to, you know, Ungala Bungala. I... Oh, we have no cards in our hand, and because <laughs> Dak, <laughs> because I mean, Dax is playing an Ungala Bunga deck, I will lose this matchup because his monsters are always playing, bigger than. I'm playing mine. a red gate deck. <laughs> is Ungala Bungas more than your Bunga? No, Axe, you're playing an OTK deck. It only exists to summon huge monsters. I just like Bunga. You are a caveman right now. <laughs> I don't know. I have to think you about are my indeed place. Indeed, a caveman. Axe, you've become the Malefic player. Return no. Return to Monka. Because I'm not using kill spells. We are The, the weird psychological hoops Axe jumps through to not <laughs> break his own brain with his hypocrisy are fascinating. I've been saying it's not exactly like the same like Malefic. Exactly. It is, though. It does, the, the flavor where you try to separate it isn't it. You've made a 2800 monster that I cannot beat over. <laughs> and you keep summoning big monsters with like 2k attack because that is literally your deck. True. I mean, I would like to uh, stop dying, so I will keep summoning. Stop exploding, you cowards! That is what I'm doing. <laughs> la la laser beam missed the memo.
Okay, so Axe gave me an opportunity there. I need well, to draw him a certain No, because I right don't want to now. put I don't want to put Crusher in defense. Fuck. <laughs> oh yeah, you Shit, gave him an opportunity. Fuck. God damn it, Deck! That was the like one wrong monster out of my twenty monsters to give me. Uh, all right, well, we'll just stack up for another fucking turn. I probably could have broken this well. deadlock, but my deck gave me the wrong monster. Pain Peko. When your deck hates you. When the pain is Peko. Oh my fuck. You have like 90 copies of all these cards, right? Because they were in the card bank, aren't they? Well, that was his complaint, was that Galaxy photons Magnus. don't do anything That's... until he got all the card bank cards. That's dumb. Yep. Uh, and we see that again. Card bank cards just create too much annoyance. I actually... Fuck, I don't actually have anything left. Is he out of XYZs? Wait, oh no, you XYZ summoned no, five have... times and you can't do it again. May I probably should cut like fours on this. Probably. Your deck probably is ranked should. eight, so you weren't expecting an endurance match, I see. Why the fuck? Whereas I have used three cards out of my extra deck, and I think two of them were synchros. Now that I've finally actually gotten to play this deck enough, I actually understand the flaws of my own design. just like, gas, gas, gas. Oh, his, his like, design is flawed, everybody. <laughs> well, no, he. I understand what he's saying. I know, I'm just uh... saying Axe has this terrible <laughs> habit of constantly talking shit on himself when he's winning in the game oh, right now. Oh, I thought you were going to say of kissing his own toes. Uh -huh. <laughs> what? Uh... You've never heard that expression before? No. Oh, Dallas, what what era from you are you from? Foot and mouth. Oh fucking fucking kids. I'm from Dallas. every era. Oh, Dallas, okay. it from it the wasn't 80s, some weird like you, thing. These these no, kids out here sucking their. No. I mean, it is a sexual thing to some people, but no, it's just it's a slang for foot and mouth. Because You're foot weird, and mouth Dallas. isn't slang enough. This is coming from the Australian with our own weird slang. Sucking toes. Yeah, I know. Uh, hey, uh, Loth, I've heard Bogan speak. You have no right to speak. <laughs> That's because Bogans aren't real people. <laughs> That's true. Okay. They are indeed subhuman. Now I can do the thing I wanted to do. I'll rank 10. It's nice. Is this a trade? Uh, I could, but actually I have a better uh... idea. Sky Palace Gangdarai! Well, fuck. I, I okay, thought well. this was going to be Gustav. This is not Gustav. Oh, uh, it could have been Gustav. That's a card bank card. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, with trains. Uh, I mean... No, this was a better play for this for this moment. Honestly, yeah. I, yeah, I don't know shit, so... Oh, yeah, no, there's this... a tuner. That's a uh, sink seven. I've played seven. a rank ten deck ten? before, so Stardust. I vaguely know that card. No, it's seven. Oh. It's Wait, I don't know my thing. Uh... We just what are you gonna do? So I guess beat over the photon. Yeah, probably just beat over. Yeah, Galtier's. Yeah. I'll just activate its effect. Alright, we'll get banished. This is why Galtier's Pokemon Dragon is annoying as shit. Oh, wait. It's because of its quick effect banish both. Yes. Yeah. No. Alright, let's It's not that. like, I'm not saying it's broken or overly good, it is literally just annoying. Well, you can't get over Gengdurai right away. It's it's not like Stardust, which is, oh, uh, you're going to destroy something good. with Banish. Yeah, it's just, and we disappear. It's just really annoying. Yeah. I also, I, I've decided, I've realized I really don't like this deck. Because now that we're okay, out of I'm endurance, I will always lose this tempo match because he's got I'm actually gonna win this billion this shit. monsters. Yeah, that we're all negated. generally what the most of the anime devolved into, uh, at least with... Uh, Ah, yep. this asshole. Kite. Well, thank God I get a ban. I know, right? I wonder what it'll be. I mean, I you probably don't have to ban anything from that deck because uh, someone has gotten oh, okay. I didn't do I've gotten yeah. zero of. So, so I, didn't say the I would be playing this deck if I had gotten any of the cards. I'll say that. I mean, I was interested in Galaxy. Hey, if you've been in Galaxy has Photon Dragon, that I mean, most of the cards are in Card Bank. You just have to get uh, the Photon Dragon. The, the rest uh, of the not, not the super I... rare XYZs, though. Uh, also, <laughs> not the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon that I literally whiffed every single print. I might 
Well, I'm not having this stuff. Yeah. You also talked to a man who also apparently whiffed all Retro Tribute uh, <laughs> reprintings. Yeah. Okay, I haven't used Mirror Force. Just play the archetype for the cards you haven't pulled. They're all the card banking except the key card. Yeah, okay, thanks. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I've gotten any Galaxy Eyes. Yeah, I don't have I don't any Galaxy about it. Eyes either. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Is it like Star Eater, Dallas? You've got too many? Fucking uh, drowning. No, I got three in one pack. Ooh. Uh, I believe that was like Star Pack 2013, I think. Well. I, I should, I should clarify. One I thought opening, it not one actual booster pack. I was about to, I actually had a thing yeah. of like, maybe. Yeah. You know, in the seven packs, I got yeah. three. Not one pack. Three. You know, triple supers this in one pack. That's crazy. Kind of. No, they were all commons. Almost oh, like an anime duel, to be I honest. Well, Star Star Pack, the entire I mean, set is gone. Yeah. That's the thing. I hate it. How do you always find these fucking? It's your superpower. It's your real superpower. Is always finding the consistency play. Ha ha! You fool! <laughs> I'm not negated. <laughs> I live once more. I won't be able to do anything because I've used up. Oh, well, that's not true. I still haven't found Mirror Force. Okay. But you'll have fucking MST. I bet you're, I bet you're quite order. hilarious. I bet you're quite hilarious. I bet like, you. Your mood has swung so hard this entire game. <laughs> no, <laughs> my mood has it. always been in the toilet. I just haven't been yelling about it. Because Dallas keeps like, saying this match is good, actually, when it's just me suffering. Because every single play I do, you're just like, ooh, I'm going to summon another giant monster you can't beat up. And it's like, well, fuck, what do I do about that? I can't make <laughs> monsters that are huge. Dallas is just enjoying and watching Omega get fucked by Shuffle. I mean, it's gone on for 30 turns. This is better than the match that Robin and Axe had because that was over yep. in 12 I mean, minutes. Yeah, maybe it's a just a expectations thing of like, well, compared to the first like, match. This is a single match deck that is literally longer than that one. It's like almost twice as long now. He's fucking yeah. style on me. He's summoning his single honest. But uh, also, I, I do want to say that no, this has uh, yeah. actually kind of been back and forth. You both did get to summon your big... I, I mean, I got to play Dark Hole, then he got to play Dark Hole. That was it. That was literally it. And then I ran out of board nukes. Because he had way more recycling back and than forth. I did. One... I, just amazed, I, did, I thought I would have lost by now. That was that you uh, bricked against that, me well, in that Axe, second you always match. think... I've, th this is why I told Robin not to feed your inferiority complex or whatever. You always think your decks are awful, and then you kick our asses because no. you I, actually I have think... a good sense for deck building. You narrow in on deck archetypes that are consistent and have certain power levels. Um, I, I still think if we played a match off camera right now, I would beat Axe. I mean, deck. we could test that, didn't. but we'll see. Um, Wait, this time we're going to remember to do the, the the sideboarding thing because this is the finals. Wait, yes, I, uh, uh, I, I, I said this off camera. I realized it. Uh, we forgot to do that for mine. It literally wouldn't have mattered. The best bet would have been I would have sideboarded in Valor and 2 DD Crow, and I still don't think that would have actually stopped me. Because I, I would have, um, that my Valor would have been used Galaxy as a tuner play. long before I got to any of the meaningful v Valor games. might have come up, DD Crow did not matter at all. No, DD Crow wouldn't have mattered, and I don't, like I said, I I think if I had drawn Valor instead of some of my other cards, I would have had to have played it and synced. I would not have got to actually Alrighty. do anything meaningful. But oh, so deck is way more consistent than mine, but... Oh, 100%. Oh, yeah. No, I, I have that's, no that's illusions. If I lose this, this, it is because of bad luck. Yeah, I... I if mean, I lucky, better than then again, you are talking to the luck master. Who won that? No. Well, is it like the Do it. Now remember, Dallas, you gotta watch out for. Good, because that was a bad. That was that was one of my worst opening hands. <laughs> Good. God damn it! <laughs> my opening hand was pretty mid, so. It's true. Yeah, That's the ultimate off-camera test. Uh, Loth said in in our Discord that the ultimate test would be him versus Axe off-camera. <laughs> That is usually why Axe has bad impressions of his deck, is that he jobs to, like, Loth or Dallas off-camera. But we all know that off-camera doesn't count. I'm not going to say it's no, fake. off-camera Loth is scary. The off-camera off is For real, but it does not count. It means nothing for the recording. I mean, you just need to secretly record those matches and then like, show us For first. me, Axe, Axe has the same power level uh, off and on-camera for me. Uh, <laughs> Moth becomes a fucking JoJo character. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls off some dumb shit sometimes. 
Yeah, I, I, I have not met this off-camera lock that you guys speak of. What are you talking about? I kept car destructioning you a lot of the time. Yes, but I still I still usually win those. I'm just very upset. Yeah, you I do, you do. <laughs> I'm just... Alright. <laughs> I, I bet off-camera uh, car I swear destruction. To God, I if I'd run out of my side deck, I'm a... I'm a gonna strangle the kitten. <laughs> we're praying for that side deck to work and for Dallas's uh, final kitten. I thought you might say we're in. praying for Dallas to strangle that kitten. <laughs> No, Yo, that would mean that Dallas uh, bricked and loses. You know, okay, honestly, I, X go I think I want X to win this one. That's pretty typical for you. Dallas I, did uh, take you out to like a Dragon dance Rulers? with um with Dragon Rulers. Oh, I don't blame yeah. anyone for being salty about losing to this deck. I think D Dallas made this deck specifically because he's like, look, I wanted to ban... Coolest. Well, no, Dallas. I think Dallas did say this last time we recorded when I was like, when I was having my existential crisis of like, guys, I don't know what deck I'm gonna play, and I decided to play Mecha Phantom Beasts, and I made Dracosack, and I still got my ass kicked. Um, hey, do I bother? Actually, no, I probably do want to do that. I mean, you want to make something he can't just punch over. Probably. Which I think you've already done with. Okay, yes. Yeah, yeah I mean, I mean yeah, uh, at best he could. I just, I, I, I could go with the. I honestly feel like you do Felgrand because I kind of want the protection, but I'm not sure. Oh, you can I do mean, really dumb Gen X Ally Birdman stuff with you. I forgot that was a thing. Oh god, not Gen X Ally Birdman. Yeah, Birdman was a free in real life. Right now. The problem Gen is, there's no, we don't have any access Gen to tens. Yeah, uh, we also, we also need one Birdman, so. No fucking boot tack, yeah. Probably say the Felgrand, but what's this guy's? Really should have gone in this uh, fell ground. Yeah. This is where Dallas plays his turn one dark hole. <laughs> when oh, the no. fell is grand. Oh, nope. <laughs> Take that. I mean, Dallas <laughs> did warn you. Uh, ah, well, I mean, that's first, better than getting yeah, bla getting I mean, your ass blasted by your own tachyon dragon. Dragon ravine. Oh yeah, yeah. Here we go. See, this is why I don't think Can I tell I bird for 30 at law and bounces his clients back. Uh, well, I'm glad you guys are still contributing as much content while you're taking a break from the format. I, I said it out loud, but no one heard me, so I just want to Oh, is that Redox? And also, crazy. thank you for the follow up, Marsh. I really should have done Felgrand, honestly. Oh, we should have. Yeah. I immediately regretted it as soon as I pressed that button and like, didn't undo it, so. <laughs> you did. Well, that's true, you can't take backs. Well, actually, you can oh, take back. Great. Actually, you shouldn't. Uh, you can I totally I'm be like, I don't. I just didn't think I could. Yeah. Go. Banish the other great weakness of Yu-Gi-Oh players is shotgunning effects. Uh, Speaking of shotgun, I should go back to play Activate. Halo One. Just gonna keep waiting uh, until you have a board. Yeah. So Dallas has no hand. We should yeah, do a duel one of these days. Hand. We should do a theme tournament one of these weeks just to spice it up. Well, I don't know what we're right. doing. I mean, I'm probably going to eat a mirror for us here, but honestly, it's worth it. Oh, call the haunted. Okay. Call of the Into law. Galaxy Eyes, who is larger than Tempest, because Tempest is a big weenie baby. Man, he is a giant baby. <laughs> like compared to all uh, of his brothers, he is so so squish. He's a giant baby, so like the rest of us then. Okay, on standby phase. There was a match. Rivalry, actually. Or rivalry, sorry. That the, the one that's good against your deck. Yeah, the uh, one that's that good was, against that your was deck, in, not the Gozen one that's good is nothing. in my side deck because uh, Mecha Phantom Beasts are uh, mono attribute. I was about uh, to say, yeah. Gozen of Warlords. Uh, weird. Ah, oh, fuck, it doesn't break call. Damn it. Weird. I thought it would. No. No, uh, the what you've right. done is you've no call, call doesn't uh, pop itself with no effect. No, it, it makes it at least where if if call gets popped, it doesn't kill my galaxy. Uh, I mean, no, that I is do. true. It, yeah, it does. No, it does desync it. Okay. Yeah, which at least makes it right. Now it's yeah, but now you have now to deal with it now. Because call Red call is trap. call will never receive that PCST where it removes it you know destroys. Yeah. Oh, this to hand. The the only. The, the only the only use for it now would be if you had Uriah. Now this is going to be discard. Uh, add the dragon. I mean, yeah, the... tempest effect. Yep. No, it's not. You're, you're just gonna you're just gonna graveyard again. Yeah. Kidmoto. Oh, it's because you can Kidmoto. Yes. Summon tempest. 
All right. Now your face down is presenting problems. But hold on, I, mean, I think this is we still know it's game Oh my god, the man actually is gonna do return. Oh yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Ah, fuck, we're gonna, gonna go to Heliopolis. Fuck. What is a Heliopolis? Uh, why can't I extra fix someone? Uh, uh, you have it level fixed. Uh, you have it level fixed. Oh, you, right. Yeah, you need to yeah. activate the effect you... first, my dude. <laughs> right. You, you have now to, you, you can special summon a dragon effect. monster. Yeah. Um, and only a dragon monster is rivalry. Yeah, you kid mode it, you're locked. But I'm um, rivalry and double. But yeah. No, yeah, True, you're rivalry locked in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, just, is I don't think I'm outright dead. This is but board. Yeah, this is board. dragon ravine and rivalry, I assume. Sadly, yeah. Nope. Oh, no, it's crazy. just the two dragon rulers. <laughs> fuck me. Yeah, I live a nice fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, I play defensively. Uh, I can't attack, but. Can't you attack? I don't know. I couldn't go to battle phase. Uh, did you use effect for you battle, to phase battle phase? Locked by Kuro. Oh, uh, Komodo. Okay, oh, Komodo. Komodo. Got it. Yeah, you nor no, nor can you conduct your battle phase. That's fair. I'll, I'll take that Komodo. Uh, so. But you could hypothetically just do that again. Overload Heliopolis. Uh, Hold on. Then... I don't know what I'm going to do right now because I have no way to recover. So, I know the line. I don't want to just tell Dallas the line here. But well, you don't know, know the line because you don't know what's in my hand. But... I mean, true. But there's... The, the, thing, the thing about the card in your hand is it's actually a Wait, no, I know monster. the line. Hold on. Um, it's actually just a Tribune monster in your hand. Right, you just drag and roll everything and I die. No, I can do something different here. Redux. I can do something gross. Uh, yep, Tempest. Tempest. Uh, nice. Banish Debris Not Dragon. Debris. Do you target for Debris? You do. You can always little. just use it as a... Oh, and then you go to Spark. Two. Fuck. Well, oh, you no, can't, you can't, you can't go make in... it that way. Yeah, you, you can't go into... But what he can you do can't... is now he has two free monsters to... Yep, that star also works. Eater. There it is. There's a big boy. Yeah. Dallas right, getting his use out of that a... Star Eater. Damn. Oh, that rem that reminds me. I didn't yep. get to I didn't get to it, but technically my Mecha Phantom uh... Beast deck does have that Star Eater that I still have an IOU out to Axe for. Oh, that'd be uh, to me? Oh, yeah, I no, forgot about that. Oh, no, to... okay. Axe was like, okay. I want to give you this Star Eater, and I'm like, I appreciate that, Axe. That makes my Mecha Phantom Beast deck go. But uh, we didn't get to level 11. So I need to give him some. I think to, like, I I think I out. lost because I misplayed from turn one. So I think that's just what it was. So I died to electric virus. Yes. I, I still had a way to out your Felgrand, but uh, it would have been. It would have been a I slower mean, play. It, it would have been a different thing. Because it's yeah, also like I, I could have gone. Reason. I could have pitched my entire hand to go into Big Eye essentially. But it's, I mean, and it's you, technically you, you not over. I don't think you've played Dark Hole yet. Uh. And yeah. I'm dead, but I play anyway. I mean, the thing about Darko here is Dallas. If I had a card in hand, I don't know. Blaster battle. Yeah, if I, I don't actually think you're dead. dead. Oh no, you're you're dead. I'm no, dead. I am. Yeah. Monsters. It's, it's super dead. Uh, well, no, I would have had two, but I had enough dragons and graves. Oh, yeah, you would get. There's there's yeah. no single card that saved Axe there. Uh, right, that was an interesting. Room. Besides Darko, I guess. Even, even the field wipe loses to uh, just no. Field yeah, wipe. dragon field wipe is are, actually uh, are kind of fucky. Start got a got a very difficult band this week. Showing the screen. Well, Robin, you are first. You are the first first loser. Hoomst. Uh yeah, it's gonna be Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, because some people get them all and some people get none of them. It's true, it was an ultra. Uh it oh, was okay. reprinted. So, um, in a, uh, some, if if you draw three of them and someone else draws zero. That wasn't a guarantee. Don't you fucking snow me, Dallas. Oh, okay, no, I'm so just saying. I must never play photons you. again, I guess. Yeah, correct. Die. Oh, fuck off. Fucking uh, fuck. I mean, if, if we want to open this box, I'm fine with it. But... The box was already no. open, motherfucker. But, okay, Kalu. no, I'm just saying. Next time Black someone world. tries to talk me out of banning something like, uh, 
uh, Mermail fucking Abyssalian? Just I, go fuck yourself. I did talk you out of it. You fucking banned my Mermail deck. <laughs> you, it's already banned. You've banned my cards. All right, that like, is Galaxy Eyes no Photon Dragon. Up. It is on the list. I think I was only hope. Oh, never mind. I don't even know what I was doing next week. John Solomon Judgment, uh, turn one. Squeeze. Yeah. There's some stuff going on in the background, by the way. Uh, well, now um, we move on to uh, David. You are right. our next loser uh, of the first. I, Solemn Judgment, your heavy. So also I, I think it's time we started hitting some of the droolers. Okay. Um, that being said if we're going to start whacking jewelers it's going to be redox first all right redox dragon ruler of... it's crazy that the strongest dragon ruler didn't even get hit first absolutely nuts what are you talking about jeweler has the highest stat on a dragon ruler no he doesn't yeah he does oh you mean he's got a, he's got a 3k yes. defense he 3K okay. yes he has a 3k defense the monster reward effect is also ruler. very good. Uh, what's Redox Dragon Ruler of? Uh, boulders. Uh, yeah, because the other one's pe reactant's pebbles. Pebble. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm debating red listing Redox or not. Do we think Redox is ever going to come back? Should I just bother? I, I, bother? I would like not to re red okay, list it because I, I actually. I, I don't know, but Dallas has won freaking three times. Oh, holy shit. Uh. Maybe pink. Well, yeah, that's so many wind streaks. Holy shit! Well, there's only so much we can do about that because, unlike the rest of us, Dallas has 50 decks. Oh, I'm gonna keep winning. <laughs> mm. you just can't keep just ban all the rulers, please. Just ban my deck. Do it. <laughs> well, this we'll is the this is the thing I complain about off camera. I doesn't matter anymore. To, like my main I try not to bring this heat into the actual recording, but banning Dallas's individual decks does literally nothing. Does nothing. He will no, but we should ban the drillers and get away for posterity. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, anyway, no. Uh, I have a ban. Uh, we talked about this earlier. I uh, I lost in my first matchup, so I get a ban, and also I get a wheel spin, which I will do in a second. But uh, uh, there's a couple of different choices anymore. I could do. I think me personally, though, uh, it's that's yeah, glow up. Uh, uh -huh. Dallas also used that to great effect in his deck, and he has used that in other decks. And so I am ready for that guy oh. to go away for a little bit. Not forever. I don't think we're gonna red list him yet. He was limit one, I think, during our upcoming time period during Arc V. So yeah, uh, much like Redox, we can debate that. But uh, he will probably eventually go in jail and stay that way. I, I th personal opinion, this is maybe going to get me uh, bunk. I think Redox could come back in the modern metagame and it wouldn't do much. I think the only dragon ruler that is still too powerful for the game is Tidal. And that is just because it's a foolish, it's an extra foolish burial. I think the, I th the problem with Redox is he is a monster reborn and also he is Earth, which is like one of the one of the other really, really good types. Yeah, but water is also the other, other one. I mean, water does work as a hodgepodge, but that's different, though. Like, though, I don't know, Marin says Like, what good back, Earth like, decks are there right now? Mono Earth. Right this second? I don't know, but there have been recently. Uh, I mean, there's Earth Machines, but that's kind of it. Th and that's like a fringe, like... They, they exist. That's like, a very specific thing. thing. I would, ha I would have, have to go look stuff up, but I think some... I think uh, Adam Emancipator stuff was Earth main deck. But we're not here to debate that. It's no, it has, it has wind and fire. Oh, well, I know the rocks are, but I think the main one, and, you know, Block Dragon, though that got banned. Anyway, we're not here to discuss that. That's that's our bans this week. It's Glow Up, it's Galaxy Eyes, and it, it is right, Redux. I was sharing a bit of an opinion I have on you. Yeah, this deck is dead. Um, so we're going to, to do that. I, I, I want to post the deck. It, I just, I'm very laughing because of what didn't get banned out of this deck. And you well, Dallas, we only have three bands, so if you play no, I more than but... more than three bannable cards, there's only so much we could have done anyway. Oh, I played way more than three bannable cards. I we noticed. Need to just heavy storm again. All right, never mind. Uh, Axe yeah. is just too lucky. I just so lost. what I what I was alluding to earlier about a tech I found out: card of safe return with the dragon rulers is the most disgusting thing on the planet. Uh, yep. <laughs> yeah. So close to the secret round. All right. Well, oh, yeah, like, I forgot to share my deck. Uh, uh, I didn't share my deck. So I'll, I'll we'll go do that in a second. Uh, uh, was, thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. Uh, I, yes, yeah. everybody post your deck lists. 
But uh, thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. That was our bands. We'll see you next week for... Well, I don't know if we'll see you guys next week. I don't actually know if people will exist for Legacy of the Valiant, but we'll try, goddammit. Um, I'll be here. I'll do but, it. I just... Oh. Yeah, I need more than... I need five... At least five of you to show up, and I don't know. Um, I just... My deck... The deck I wanted to play for a bit was dead, so we'll see how it goes. But I, I guess I have no right to ever say anything about anything. Our, I'll, I'm trying to end the fucking episode. Don't turn it into a pity sorry, party, Mr. With the most wins. No, I'm not saying goodbye. I'm telling the people... I was doing this All whole right. thing. I'm, I'm going to bit. I, I'm actually going to. If the people are still in, I want to bitch you two out because how did we let fucking Felgrand Dragon out when this motherfucker has two? How did that not get banned? I'm uh, just saying. I didn't because I heard he had one. Yeah, he didn't post his deck until after we banned everything, which is technically foul play. But also, I've already. Sorry, I mean, I I'm not. I wouldn't. I personally wouldn't be keen to get Felgrand because I well, have a rank eight it. deck and I own one. I would like. My thing is, I would like to be able to play my decks for once. Uh, but we'll see if that ever happens. Uh, it is photon is dead too. So anyway, I guess like, build yeah. infinite decks. I I have. They just don't work. I always get jobbed, Dallas. I kept playing right now. I guess playing when I ban cards, so I stopped jobbing. Anyway, so we're, we're done. We're, we're done. Get we're going away I guess, now. So... We're done. People, okay, we're done.